uh, bubble bar. Oh no, it's got all like pieces of blue skies on the back because I was... No, these can't go to waste. I'm awfully sorry about this. My boyfriend arranged them and he doesn't know that first you have to scrape the pieces off the plate and save them forever. And this one smells really good. It smells of tramp shower gel really. Almost exactly like it. Patchouli and earthy, grassy, woody -ness. But very nice. Very, very nice. I love it. But very much patchouli. Definitely. And it smells like an enchanted... It actually smells exactly like golf juice. Enchanted forest smell. Very, very lovely. I'm going to like it and my boyfriend is going to love it. What else did I get to bathe with? Well, I've already used half of this floating island bath melt. And this is fast becoming one of my favorite new products. I mean, uh, new favorite products. Because I think it smells of something that I haven't smelled since my childhood. I don't know what it is, but um, it smells so good of like vanilla candy. It smells like dolls sm smell. You know, when you're little and you have dolls, they have this smell. It smells just like that. It smells of like dolls. And that's why I bought it. And it's so nice. I love bath melts. Why do I only have one? They don't have very many, do they? But I like it because um, it's kind of... It's very, it is luxurious. It kind of floats on the top of your bath and just moisturizes and caresses. It's like, I used not even half of this and it was like having a bath in milk. And it was really yummy and I like it. Then what, oh my god, this is the new, my new favorite thing. Uh, the soft touch body butter. And I can't hold it for very long because it immediately starts melting, much like a massage bar, but even worse really. I adore it. I got a sample of it and I was like, mm hmm, the soft touch was one of the products that I was like, what? I want to try this. No interest, sorry. It's so nice. I love it so much. I know you're meant to put it on your hands overnight, get soft hands, but really I could not care less whether my hands are soft or not. So I just uh, use it as a, you know, like a body butter all over my body. I mean, who says body is only the hands? I was about to say my hands are in my body, but, um, they kind of are. <laughs> And I, I can't describe the smell, but it's my favorite Dutch smell ever. It's so nice. I don't know what it is. Mainly vanilla, I guess. But also, wait a second. I just have to. I can't hold it. It'll melt. Oh, I don't know. You just have to smell it for yourself. But it's definitely kind of grown up vanilla. It's not sweet candied vanilla. Oh, it's just great. Just you have to smell it when you get the chance. It's. I'm in love with it. It leaves your skin very, very soft and it keeps its scent forever and ever and everywhere that you touch. And well, if you like the scent as much as I do, then I guess that's very welcome. Okay, next thing. <laughs> then baby face, which I've also hauled before. But I was out. I had like, I have like this <laughs> tiny little flake left about this size and like paper thin. And I Still, I, I'm gonna get like three to four uses out of that still. <laughs> I'm not foolishly spending my money anymore, no, never. Um, I mean wasting, not spending. Well, same thing really. Anywho, um, yeah. Yeah, I, that was the first thing I ever rebought. No, wait, I rebought Fluffy Blue Skies and White Clouds, Baby Face, and Bathos. The only three things I've ever rebought so far. Three things, yeah, I'm great. <laughs> and then this is the best thing because the girl at Lush knows me and well she knows I'm always gonna come back she actually said this she asked me what I wanted for a sample and usually I always get one of the fresh face mask samples oh which I was supposed to tell you about too and wait a sec <laughs> and um yeah but this time she was out of the little pots so I was like they just got the new heavenly massage bars and, and I really wanted to buy one but they're like this small and they cost nine euros ninety, so I was like, yeah, sure. So I was like, well, I don't really want to ask for anything. I don't want to be impolite, but if I really could ask for a sample, then I would ask for a heavenly massage bar. And she was like, like, I'm gonna cut up a massage bar for you now or what? But then I guess she figured it was a good idea because it was a new thing, and she could cut it into four pieces and give it to other people too, obviously. And then she was like, I'm only doing this because I know that you're going to be back. And I know that you, like, always buy loads of things. And so, 
I got a sample of Havanui, which is like quarter of the size. So really this is worth like, what, about two euros? So I'm happy. And this um, smells great. Very, very good. Smells of uh, vanilla. But I think it smells better than the vanilla perfume, which I didn't like that much because it kind of it smells sweeter and it smells fresher. And I'm going to get massaged with it tonight because I think I'm one of the rare people who actually uses massage bars for massage. But I guess I'm just lucky because my boyfriend will massage me. And oh, I really like it. It's great. Oh, this is such a fresh one as well. It's melting really fast. Or maybe it's just summer or spring or whatever. <laughs> maybe. Um, so yeah, oh yeah, then the fresh face mask sample that I got, damn it, I left like this much over just so I could show you, but um, it's like in the fridge right now, and should I get it? I'll get it. Brazen honey. Here. Looks like you want to put it on your sandwich and not your face. Smells like... You want to put it on your sandwich. <laughs> okay, it smells like curry and mustard to me. Honey? Where is the honey? <laughs> it just smells of spices, like cardamom and, and I don't know what they're all called. But, uh, wow, it's not even herbal. It smells of the Indian food. It really does. And, um, yeah, when I had it on my face, I also felt like... Should I really be putting this on my face? Because it's so spicy. It's like a spicy face mask. I only bought it because it was called Brazen Honey and I thought it was like honey. But it's like, yeah, I felt like I was putting mustard on my face. <laughs> but, um, like, for how it worked, um, I have to say, it really did make my skin, you know, uh, very bright and lighten up a little bit for a while. But, it was hard to spread, very like gritty and weird with like huge pieces in it, so don't like that. I found other masks easier to spread, like Mask of Magnum and Tea. But it's worth a try, <laughs> it's definitely an experience, so yeah. And um, that was pretty much it, so tomorrow there's going to be another haul as well, with all the retro and the special things, I got some specials. And um, yeah, hope you liked it. Bye. <laughs> I always get so embarrassed towards the end.